Welcome to Aging in Style with me, Lori Williams. I'm an optimist by nature, and I believe you can follow your dreams at any age. My grandmother's journey with dementia ignited a passion in me to work with seniors. I've spent the past 13 years learning about seniors and aging. In my mid-50s, I followed my own dream and founded my company, where I use my expertise to help seniors locate housing and resources. On this podcast, we cover all aspects of aging. Join us each week to meet senior living experts and inspirational seniors who are following their dreams. The fact is, we're all aging, so why not do it in style? Hi, welcome to Aging in Style with Lori Williams. I'm so glad you're here today. Our topic on today's show is senior placement services. What is a senior placement service? How do they work? How do they save you time? How do you find one? And how much do they cost? These are the questions we will be answering today. And we are talking about senior placement services because it's rather near and dear to my heart because I actually own a senior placement service. So as you know, I do this podcast. It started almost a year ago. I can't believe we've been making these for almost a year, but it started because I wanted to share my knowledge my friends in the industry, their knowledge, and also introduce you to inspirational seniors. I felt it was really important to to get information out to people and kind of take the fear out of senior living and all of the different things that come with it, whether it's hospice or home care, home health, you know, memory care, all the different topics that come along with it. So I started my senior placement service three years ago. And before that, I worked for a national placement service. So I feel like I have some really good experience having worked in both types to really explain to you what a senior placement agency does and then try to figure what kind is best for you because there's pros and cons to both, whether it's a local placement service like mine or a national placement service. So let's first define what is a senior placement service or senior placement agency or referral placement? There's all different names you hear it called by. So in a nutshell, I kind of think of myself as a matchmaker, which makes me think of what is the song, the matchmaker, matchmaker song. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Fiddler on the Roof, I think it's from. I have no idea why that just came into my mind, probably because I live with a Broadway kid. And so (laughs) that is what's in my mind right now. But we are basically matchmakers. So in the way that we take a senior's needs so maybe they have some health or other physical needs we find out their budget we find out the geographic area they want to live in and then we help them match to the type of senior community or services that fit all of these needs the best so the question then is why should you use a senior placement service well i'm going to tell you why (laughs) because i see this every day There's so much stress and people get so overwhelmed out there. And I'll see people, you know, they'll come to me, right? They'll say, oh, I Googled and I ended up finding this place over here and we'll talk about it and why it's completely the wrong direction of what they need. Or on social media, I will see someone post I need help. My dad needs a retirement community. He still drives. He just needs, you know, to be around other people. And then the responses, I'm just like, oh, my goodness. It'll be something like, oh, you know what? My friend's sister's cousin moved to mm, Happy Hills Nursing Home, and they just love it there. And then there'll be some other random, my dad, he's in Garland, and he's doing great. He loves the place where he lives. Meanwhile, this family lives in Arlington, you know? So it's just... Kind of, I mean, I get that you would ask people their opinion on where to go, but when you put a question out there like that to a group of people who maybe only have experience in nursing homes with a family member, one one experience, and you're not going to a professional, I think it just ends up 
where you become more frustrated. You go down a whole lot of rabbit holes trying to figure out what to do. And then you find me or someone like me and we're like, let us help you. I mean, we can do sometimes in five minutes what it may have taken someone else doing a search six months to find. That's the whole point of this. We just want to make this as easy as possible. So how does it work? Well, first we have a consultation and the consultation is typically, in most cases, it's with the adult children. Um, Sometimes it's the senior themselves, but I would say the majority of the time it's with the adult child and that is usually the daughter or the daughter-in-law. Sometimes it's the son. We do the consultation for my business. We typically do them by phone. Occasionally we will meet but normally it's on the phone. Sometimes we'll do a Zoom call if there's several family members involved. During that consultation, that is where we need you to tell us everything. We wanna know health-wise what is going on. Tell us about mom. You know, you know, the more you tell, the more that we can match you to the right fit. So tell me, okay, mom was doing great up until she turned 72 and she started having dizzy spells. I mean, I wanna hear the whole story. I wanna hear what was going on. I wanna know about her life. Your dad worked at NASA, man, that's cool. I wanna hear that, I wanna talk more about that. I mean, the consultation can last anywhere from 20 minutes to over an hour. It just depends on what kind of information we're getting. And like I said, we want to know about your mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, what they were like growing up, what they what their careers were, what kind of mom they were like or dad. So we take all that information. Then we ask you geographically, what part of town are you looking in? Okay, mom has always lived in Flower Mound. Well, let's see, you know, let's keep her in Flower Mound. This is where she wants to be. What's her budget? We need to find that information out too. Because when we start looking into senior living, if you've listened to any of the other podcasts, you know it's there's a broad range in pricing so like if we're looking at assisted living maybe your neighbor's dad is in assisted living paying ten thousand a month and he can do that but your dad has a three thousand a month budget so let's figure out what we're going to do with that we also help you find find ways to find more money. So to put it simply like, was your dad a veteran? Let's look at the VA aid and attendance benefit program. We're gonna introduce you to people who can help you, you know, further um, look into that and see if he qualifies. We're also going to ask you questions about, you know, long-term care insurance, just different things that maybe you haven't thought of. Let's find your family's budget so that we know what kind of community we're looking for. So we do the consultation, we do that really deep digging into, you know, their health, their budget, location, where they want to live. Do they really need to move to a community or maybe they just need resources to help keep them safe? I mean, many times I've talked to a family and, you know, their parent was fine at home. They just needed a little more assistance. Maybe they needed some physical therapy. Maybe they need Meals on Wheels and we can help hook you up with that. Maybe we need someone to come through the house and just check, make sure everything is safe, that we've talked about this before, that, you know, there's no fall risk, that or we can get rid of as many fall risks as possible, maybe clearing pathways, installing grab bars, making sure lighting is good. So there, there are things that we do, not necessarily are we gonna move to a community, there may be some other options we have available. So we're gonna put a plan together, we're gonna help you find the right community, kind of put all the pieces together for you. If mom needs to sell her house to get moving, we're gonna help you with that. If you need experts to help downsizing, we've got people we can put you in touch with. In a nutshell, we're just gonna help you all along the way to get through this transition as easily and stress-free as possible. Um, A good example is we have a lady we've been working with and she's in her 80s, she's in rehab, she had a fall at home and her son contacted me and he said, you know, my mom, she doesn't need to be alone anymore. She really needs to have meals. She wasn't eating well and she got very weak and ended up falling. So she needs meals, she needs transportation. 
and she needs friends. She's a friendly lady. She likes to play cards and, you know, she likes to garden. We, we talked and talked, talked, found a lot out about her and knew exactly where she needed to go. So I gave him a couple of options for independent living communities. He picked the one that he liked the best for her, showed her, you know, a virtual tour because she's in rehab. So she got to see a virtual tour and pictures and picked out the apartment she wanted. So, you know, that's a deal. We're going there. Next step, I introduced him to a realtor who can help him with selling the house. She has companies that are going to come in, downsize. When mom gets released from rehab, she's going to move directly into her apartment and independent living, and it's going to be ready for her. Her furniture's going to be there. Her favorite pictures and her favorite little tchotchkes, everything's going to be there, and it's going to be her home ready for her. So that is like one of my favorite things to do is to be able to just bring the whole full package and make it an easy transition like for this lady. So how do you decide on a senior placement service? There are different senior placement services out there. The big difference, there's some that are national and some that are local. So with the national placement service, obviously you're, you know, they work in every state. So on a positive side, if I was helping a daughter here in Texas and her dad was looking for a place in Colorado, I had access to properties in Colorado and could help them find a place. Now, on the reverse side of that, it's a little difficult when you haven't seen these communities to be able to help a family identify the right place. It's a lot easier when you're on the local side of things. So when I decided to open my placement service, I wanted to keep it very local. So we just cover Dallas, Fort Worth, and my team and I go out and we visit all of the communities. So what I prefer about a local service is when you're working locally, you're not gonna get someone who is say in California looking for properties in, you know, Louisville, Texas, that they have no idea about the the area. They may not know that I'm not going to send someone who lives in Louisville to Denton to look at a community because people don't really want to drive over the bridge from Louisville to Denton. Well, I wouldn't know that if I live in California. If you're not local, you don't really get to know the communities because you haven't visited them and talk to the people who work there, talk to the salespeople, have a meal there, know that the activities person, all the incredible games and different events that they put on. So you have a, you know, a family that dad loves to fish and he loves to have other guys to hang out with well i know the perfect place they have a pond a fishing pond and i know that they have groups of guys who hang out together so that would be a good fit and basically when you're local you know the tea as my 18 year old would say which is the scoop basically so i mean we we know the scoop we know what's going on in the communities and what uh what's happening who has availability who has specials all that sort of thing when you're looking for a placement service these are kind of the things that i would look for i would you know want to say do you want to do you want a national one or do you want it local make that decision you want to know are the people that work there who you're going to be talking to is this person experienced? And you can see that, like you could go on my website and see my bio. You can see the bio of the people who are on my team and see that we all have lots of experience working in senior living. I think this one is is really important. Word of mouth referral. That's how my business has actually been built. It's people I've helped find places for their parents. They tell their friends and they tell their friends and so on and so on and so on. Y'all remember that commercial? (laughs) I think it was for Breck maybe as I digress, but I think it was like Breck shampoo. So you tell two people, you tell two people, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, word of mouth referral is the way to go. Testimonials. If you, you know, you really want to know about um, a service, check out their testimonials. Other thing I would like to caution you on, I don't see this so much at the local level, but on the national placement services, they do get a bad rep because 
I do hear frequently that they tend to blast out to 20 to 30 communities your information. And so I get this complaint. People will come to me and say, I'm trying to find a place for my mom. And I somehow got hooked up with this other placement service. My phone has rung nonstop. I've got emails pouring in and they totally didn't get what I wanted. So I would want to make sure before you invest any time talking to them and you know having them represent you, just find out, are you sending my information out to two people or am I gonna get inundated with calls? Last question, and I get this question all the time, how much does it cost? Well, for the majority of placement services and for my own placement service, it's absolutely free to you, the senior, and to your family. And I know people always kind of question and go, well, hey, you know what, nothing's free. Well, this is free to you. The way it works is, and and like I said, with most placement services, this is how it works, is that we have contracts with the community. So, and when I say communities, I mean the senior apartments, independent living communities, assisted living, memory care, residential care homes. So those top five. We have contracts with all of those. So um, what happens is if I were to send you to a community, you love it, you decide this is where I'm going to move. This is great. Once you move in, they pay a fee to me. And that's how we keep this as a free service. Anyhow, I hope that kind of gave you a good idea of what a senior placement agency is and how they work. If you have any questions about it, please visit my website, which is lauriewilliams-seniorservices.com. Lots of good information out there. We've got blog posts and 40 other podcast episodes with all kinds of great information for that you're sure to learn lots and lots of stuff about senior living from. Um, be sure to share this podcast and my website with your friends and family. And if you have a topic on senior living that I've not touched on and you would love to learn more about on the podcast, just send me a message. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.